more captivating than the last, in any case, a late revelation has caused a critical part between specialists as they examine the data. Now, the fervently expected depiction of lucidity has appeared, as renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson uncovers the dazzling disclosures in space. Join us as we research how Pioneer One recognized 500 dark articles going through space and discover Tyson's contemplations on this astounding disclosure. On June 30, 198, a stony space rock collided with Earth, striking a city in Siberia, Russia. The solid impact of this event brought about the evening out of around 2,000 square kilometers. The critical degree of this event resounded globally, causing an overall shockwave. Research following this event incited the publication of the historical union between cosmology and the military by Neil deGrasse Tyson, wherein he highlighted the blend of sensible investigation and public safety, supporting for extended interest in space examination to safeguard our planet. This remarkable work transformed public awareness of the importance of space examination. In a bewildering turn of events, NASA's space device Voyager 1 has just identified 500 dark objects passing by in space, leaving analysts perplexed. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the extraordinarily well-known astrophysicist, has once again emerged to provide truly fundamental clarity. However, as analysts delved into the mystery of these 500 unidentified objects, they unintentionally discovered a stunning revelation about Voyager 1 itself. But before we explore that revelation, we should first familiarize ourselves with the Pioneer 1 rocket. Voyager 1, the daring space trailblazer, has already traveled an astounding 145 billion miles from Earth. The speed at which the rocket goes through space is truly baffling, covering a distance approximately 3.6 times the space between the Earth and the Sun every year. However, there's another side to the interstellar test beyond just its speed, life expectancy, and distance from Earth. Voyager 1 has sent a number of earth-shattering revelations to us, like the recent identification of 500 dark objects in space. These are strange, sublime items that we've never seen or recognized before. We'll get into that massive uncover in just a moment. Nevertheless, there's a question that is likely at the very front of your mind right now. How should a rocket, launched way back in 1977, still be working and delivering such significant data? Well, the answer lies in the amazing planning and intuition that went into Voyager 1's design. One of the key special features that have extended its lifespan is its double redundant computer systems. Every Voyager rocket, including Voyager 1, was equipped with two sets of command computer subsystems, the Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and the Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystems, AACS. This clear redundancy acts as a crucial safeguard allowing for predictable advances among systems and the ability to institute dormant computer parts, thus extending their life expectancy. The computer systems aboard Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 were designed as a distributed structure with three double-redundant arrangements of laptops. This redundancy ensured that, even if one system failed, the other could dominate, preventing essential failures. To use limited power sources, the Voyager's instruments relied on designed logic. This means that the computer systems were designed with balanced configuration circuits to ensure they could operate within the power budgets and time limits during the rocket's mission. Yet, power management is critical in maintaining Voyager 1's functional integrity. The rocket's distance from the sun, where it can harness solar energy, presents a significant challenge to maximizing power efficiency. Engineers needed to come up with inventive ways to moderate and improve power usage. The power management technique used by this critical spacecraft is truly impressive. One basic piece of power management includes, specifically, shutting down unessential systems. Engineers carefully assess which parts or subsystems are not essential for the primary mission objectives. For instance, heaters related to certain scientific instruments have been deactivated. These heaters were originally designed to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures for optimal performance. By turning them off, power consumption is significantly reduced, thereby extending the spacecraft's overall life expectancy. This decision to shut down unnecessary systems isn't taken lightly. It requires a careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific goals of the mission. 
Engineers work closely with scientists to ensure that deactivating specific systems doesn't compromise the quality and availability of scientific data. The goal is to find some kind of balance that maximizes power efficiency while maintaining essential functionality. However, that's not all. Voyager 1's power management systems also adjust to the changing conditions of its environment. As the spacecraft ventures farther from the sun, the available solar energy decreases. To compensate for this, Voyager 1 adjusts its power usage accordingly. This adaptive approach ensures that available power resources are efficiently allocated to support vital operations and data transmission. Over the years, there have been continuous technical advancements and improvements in power management methods, allowing engineers to refine and further develop the power systems of the Voyager probes. These enhancements include more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging methods, and advancements in power regulation and control. Thanks to these meticulous power management systems, engineers have successfully extended Voyager 1's operational life expectancy, enabling it to continue its scientific journey through the universe. Considering that the spacecraft was originally expected to last only five years, the fact that it's still sending data almost 50 years later is nothing short of extraordinary. It highlights the dedication and expertise of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to keep Voyager 1 operational. However, even with this careful planning and design, the depths of deep space remain unpredictable. Stay tuned, because a critical disclosure is coming. What did Voyager 1 find? What did Voyager 1 track down that shocked analysts? While there are some broad assumptions for what Voyager may have initially encountered, meteoroids, space rocks, and space debris, there's always the potential for surprising discoveries. One such remarkable turn in the Voyager 1 mission was the spacecraft's detection of 500 mysterious objects. This revelation caused, all things considered, a stir and raised significant concerns among the analysts managing the mission. These unusual signals and anomalies in the data came as a complete shock. Voyager 1 began sending telemetry data back to Earth, but the readings were odd, and there was no definitive explanation for what was happening. The specialists labeled this quirk a mystery. However, despite some incorrect transmissions, Voyager 1 continued to respond to commands from mission control, albeit with a slight delay in communication. This was a baffling situation, and it became a mystery. What was especially stupefying about this anomaly was that it didn't trigger Voyager 1's built-in fault protection systems. These systems are designed to activate when irregularities are detected, placing the spacecraft into a test mode that allows engineers to investigate and analyze the problem. In this case, however, Voyager 1 continued its operations without entering test mode, adding to the intrigue. After thorough assessment, the anomaly was traced back to the Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS. The AACS plays a crucial role in organizing the spacecraft and controlling its movements. With roughly 22 minutes for a radio signal to travel one way between Earth and Voyager 1, this substantial time delay presents challenges for continuous communication and command execution. Despite these difficulties, the mission team successfully implemented the fix to route telemetry data to the working onboard computer. However, the process was not without its complexities. Given the vast distance between Earth and Voyager 1, even basic communication orders took time to reach the spacecraft, and the subsequent response had a significant delay. Nonetheless, the fix was eventually executed, and telemetry data began flowing through the correct channels, providing clearer and more accurate data about the space environment surrounding Voyager 1. With the anomaly resolved, researchers could now focus on analyzing the data gathered by the spacecraft. As specialists delved into the telemetry data, they made a surprising revelation. Among the 500 unidentified objects detected by Voyager 1, there was a subset of objects displaying highly unusual characteristics. These objects showed erratic movements, irregular shapes, and unusual spectral signatures, unlike any known astronomical phenomena. Initially dismissed as instrumentation errors or noise, further investigation uncovered consistent patterns in the behavior of these odd objects. They seemed to defy conventional explanations and challenged existing models of celestial mechanics. Researchers were baffled by the nature and origin of these mysterious objects. The discovery of these enigmatic objects sparked intense debate and speculation within the scientific community. 
Some researchers proposed outlandish theories, including extraterrestrial intelligence or advanced propulsion systems, while others maintained a more skeptical stance, advocating for more conventional explanations. In light of these discoveries, Neil deGrasse Tyson weighed in on the significance of Voyager 1's findings in a series of interviews and public statements. Tyson emphasized the importance of maintaining scientific rigor and caution when investigating the unknown. He cautioned against jumping to premature conclusions and encouraged scientists to conduct thorough investigations before drawing definitive conclusions. Tyson's measured response to the discovery of the mysterious objects helped temper sensationalism and promoted a more cautious approach to scientific inquiry. He emphasized the need for continued observation, data collection, and investigation to unravel the true nature of these enigmatic phenomena. In the months following the initial discovery, researchers around the world mobilized efforts to study the mysterious objects detected by Voyager 1. Observatories, space telescopes, and ground-based instruments were focused on the regions of space where the anomalies had been observed, gathering additional data to supplement the spacecraft's observations. Gradually, a clearer picture began to emerge as scientists pie said together the puzzle of the mysterious objects. Through careful analysis and collaborative research efforts, they uncovered clues about the object's origins and behaviors. While many questions remain unanswered, each new discovery brought scientists closer to understanding the nature of these astronomical mysteries. As the investigation into the mysterious objects detected by Voyager 1 continues, researchers remain focused on unraveling the secrets of the universe. Their dedication to exploration, discovery, and understanding serves as a testament to the human spirit of curiosity and inquiry. In the end, the discovery of 500 unidentified objects by Voyager 1 represents a milestone in the history of space exploration. It has challenged our understanding of the universe and opened new avenues for scientific inquiry. By carefully studying these cryptic anomalies, scientists hope to uncover the secrets of the cosmos and expand our understanding of the universe's complexity and diversity.